Boobs. 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 Sweetums, bagetums. Ooh. Oh, that's <sighs> Hello, fabulous sisters. It's week 12. Hi, sisters. Hi, sisters. I'm gonna kill you, methinks. <laughs> we are here on week 12 without math. Uh, he is doing mm. some epic wrestling stuff, uh, breaking bones in the name of the Kiwi Burgers podcast. And mm. uh, we, we hope to see him next week, but his schedule is going to be on and off, so we're probably going to see him every other week, like a like a divorced kid. Um, yeah. He uh, he belongs to the wrestling world. We're just we're just adopting him while while we can. Uh, anything interesting on you guys' part? Well, yes, actually, um, I met a famous person yesterday. <gasps> oh. Ooh, oh. tell us about Ooh. him. Ooh. Okay. Um, um, have any of you heard System of a Down? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I met the lead singer, Serge Tankian. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, that's cool. And I have pictures with him. He did an art exhibition in Wellington yesterday. And what you did was you actually scan the uh, art picture at the exhibition with an app. And it actually plays music depending on the art that you scanned. Hmm. He made different bits of music for different bits of art, and it was pretty sweet. That does sound pretty cool. Anything Apparently, I heard that he actually he actually lives in New Zealand now, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. Hmm. There's a lot of like celebrities that are like moving over to New Zealand. Like Gabe Newell lives in New Zealand now. Does he? It's odd. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. It's just, I mean. When, I don't know. I guess it's it's fairly not a lot of people think about New Zealand often. If you if you want to live a nice quiet life, I imagine that's the place you'd go. Oh yeah, definitely. Nothing special happens here, like ever. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, that was fun because you know he was like, Surge guy, system of down, basically childhood grow up music mm. it was very humble very nice guy I can't say I've met anybody famous recently or ever um, yeah, no. I I don't go out enough and nobody comes to Arkansas mm. uh, I will say though I did reach out to DSP uh, about being Ooh. on this podcast um, fingers crossed I get a response at some point but I don't think I'll get it I'm going to reach out to Damn. a bunch of other people, but um, I, I wanted to see if I had the glimmer of, of hope that he would respond. Mm. Uh, but if you want to be on the podcast and you're famous or in any way have any internet credits, let us know. <laughs> internet credits. Please. <laughs> Sorry, Link. We don't take credit. Come back, back when, when you're, you're a little, a little richer. 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 <laughs> In this case, please give us credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. We'll take. We'll take credit. Just a crumb. I got Just a my. Crumb, uh, please. I I finally went to uh, Daddy IRS and and got uh, my refund figured out. Um, Ooh. I might I might buy a new mic with that money. Depending on how much I have left over from all the other expenses I plan to play, pay with it, mm-hmm. uh, it's gonna be about four hundred something bucks. Uh, but I'm really excited just because I I really like doing this kind of stuff, and oh, yeah. I like get, I like I like doing it. So I, I like to to put out higher quality stuff if I can, but. No, no, we're. uh, I was pretty surprised. I was looking at our analytics uh, the other day, and we're we're sort of exponentially going up. Like more people are watching all of our episodes, more so the newer ones. But that's all. That's always a good thing. Um, Yeah. Our last episode uh, seemed to be. It's our it's our second most popular one so far, so people are really liking these newer ones. 
the episode name was literally joking and scary movies. <laughs> I, I was re-listening to the episode. And I was like, man, I talked for a long time about jerking off. <laughs> it was like a full God. ten minute thing of going like, I like to jerk off a lot. Bro. It was like it was like fifteen minutes of me going, man, I like jer- I, I remember the first time I jerked off. I remember the first time I saw boobs. I saw. I remember first time I all this stuff because none of you guys could remember anything except yeah. for a sm- except for a small segment of. Granted, uh, for for <laughs> me com- compared to you guys, I have. Some years. <laughs> yeah, but I still remember it. It's not like I'm going to be 27 and just forget it. If I remembered it this long, I'm pretty sure I'll just remember it. And if not, it'll be ingrained in this podcast forever. <laughs> so I can always go back and listen to it if I forget. <laughs> yeah, I guess now. <laughs> it's up. It's up, baby. No, uh, hopefully... A buddy of mine in real life will get his podcast up and running, and uh, I want him to be—I want to be a guest on his as well, and see if I can get him to be a guest on ours. But I don't know. Show you mine if you show me yours. (laughs) No, uh, he's been a good friend for a while, and uh, he's actually one of the first people I asked to do a podcast with. But um, scheduling stuff didn't work out, so my first ever podcast was going to be. Um, the medium rare podcast and Ooh. I had all these ideas and I was I was I even had art for it I had commissioned a little art for it and it was basically like a meat microphone and it was pretty cool I liked it but I decided in the end that um, it was gonna be me and two other buddies but we were gonna do it live and we didn't really have a place to do it live and it ended up taking way more time than I had time for, so that's why I decided to do it like this. Just so I could, I could, we could do it online, and it would take an hour, and it could just be us doing us things. Mm. Hopefully one day, if this gets, if this makes some money, we could do, in, we could do in-person stuff. Even if I have to drag Caldor by the, by the ass of his poop. Um, but we'll, we'll get, we'll you get know, it You know, I'm not even going to ask how that's the... Uh, analogy you came up with (laughs) (laughs) Um, ass by the poop (laughs) ass by the poop um no I don't know I I just I like the podcast I like where it's going too bad math can't be here to experience this awesome bonding of bros Mm. it's very disappointing he has to do his, his hobby his Lifelong hobby of wrestling. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, quite the hobby, I'd say. This is the this is a strange year for me because last year wrestling didn't exist to me, not on my radar. Didn't even think it existed. I thought that shit it's ended insane. during the during the Attitude Era. Like mm. you, I didn't know. I didn't you didn't know even anything. know it was called the Attitude Era until Math brought it up last. Yeah, that, that's a part of the point. I had no idea anything about wrestling, um, except for you know big names like John Cena, Hulk Hogan. Oh well, yeah, because like they had careers outside of mm. wrestling. Um, but this year, like my coworkers are all into wrestling. Uh, math is into wrestling. It feels like just I got submerged into WWE culture. Yeah. Um, that's really about it. Uh, other than that, I've been awake way longer today than usual. Just running some errands and stuff. But uh, targeted ads on Instagram are getting really good. I By good, do you mean been... scary? Huh? By good, do you mean scary? Yeah, scary good. Like they're they actively know what I want because I'm I want I've been looking at new new mic setups and new audio setups because I want to move from my my blue yet my blue yeti to a Rode mic XL, uh, XLR setup mm. and get get all that stuff going. But uh, it's like oh we know exactly what you want, but here's seventeen other brands that do the exact same thing. All of them 
with maybe one review. And that scares mm. me, because I don't want those. I want the road. But they keep showing me all these other things, and they keep showing me all these different other, all this other stuff. Targeted ads are scary, man. My, my fucking Google... Fuck! Sorry. My, my Google... Uh, my, I don't know where I'm going with this. Don't worry. Take your time. You can get, you can get there in the end. <laughs> Google on my phone is listening to everything I say. It's really bad. Yes, it is getting. How do you feel about that? Like targeted ads, like directly towards you. You know, it's really. Are you okay with it, or is it scary? It's really funny because, in my college, in my major specifically in college, we talk a lot about targeted ads, privacy policies, and things like that. And I've had to sit and ponder it for a while. And I think I'm okay. I, I've accepted it as a reality that I have to live in. Because to not live in it would mean that I'd have to give up basically all my technology. Yeah. And it's it's bad. I know. Whatever. People... I, I like my privacy. But... I don't think there's a single person who doesn't. It's such a... There's just, it's almost like, it's like, um, if this world goes to shit and we're in apocalypse, I'm going to have to rely on people a lot because I'm not a one jack of all trades. I'm not going to go out. I don't have the, the know-how to go out and eat like foraged food or I don't have the know-how mm-hmm. to, I mean, I can probably hunt. But it's going to have to be with equipment I've found. I can't just, like, track a deer and, like, hunt it with sticks and rocks or whatever. I'm going to have to, like, have a gun that I've already used. Or I'm going to have to have, like, a... I'm going to have to have, like, a crossbow or a bow that I've just had. I'm not going to be able to just hunt my own food with nothing. So, when it comes down to people saying, what would happen if you didn't have your technology, my... Okay. Let's activate our trades here in the apocalypse. What is your... What is your trade? Because mine's going to have to be... um, I would say I'm strong. I would say I listen to, to people well. And I'm a quick learner. So, if I have to build a shelter, I could probably figure it out pretty quickly um i know that i could stay up for a long time as i was oh yeah i'm not gonna try i'm not gonna derail off to that yet but i can stay up for a long time so that means i could be some sort of night watch if need be Mm. um i know that uh I don't know, actually, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sick-resistant. I don't get sick often. So there's there's that. Um, my downsides, though, is I wear glasses. And if I don't have my glasses, I'm useless. Mm. Um, I'm kind of slow, but I'm always willing to get faster if need be. Like, I, I, can, I can bargain with that. Um... You know, in a survival situation, I think I'd be okay in a small community. What about you guys? Uh, Um, Well, I already have a bow, so I'm fine with that. I'm a tinkerer, so I could do somewhat okay field repairs. And I also stay up pretty late, so I could also be a kind of night watch kind of person. uh, But I also live in like a very... Pseudo psychology. Pseudo psychology. Like, I, I, you I, be the field I, therapist. Like you pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> like, field therapist. <laughs> yeah, like it's a bit, just a uh, no. <laughs> like it's morale, morale officer. Morale. <laughs> no, I'm just feeling thinking. sad. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> just, man, did you lose your entire home and way of life? How do you feel about that? How do you feel? Does that make you feel sad? That sucks, man. (laughs) That sucks, man. 
like you know, don't get me wrong like i can be a capable person that's just more of like by myself i'm not a like i'm not trained in anything hmm to be fair, I'm not trained in anything either, but I'm definitely a figure it out person. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I, if if I want something, I'm gonna figure out how to get it real quick, or else I'm gonna get real upset and then figure out how to get it anyway. But uh, no, what the the reason I had mentioned the night watch thing was because um, recently I had stayed up for 38 hours, and Ooh. it is fucking awful. Why? Yeah. Because, okay, I, I got up at 5 p.m. before work, and I work really late, so I basically stayed up from 5 p.m. until 7 a.m., but then I have school at 9 a.m., so I couldn't go to sleep, and then I have school from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then I still had to work the next day, ending at 7 a.m., so it was basically 9 p.m. two days before ending at the 9 or ending at the 7 a.m. And I didn't have any time to sleep and it was fucking awful. Jeez. But I learned yes. at, tw- at 28 hours, everything starts to change. Like your perception of everything changes. Everything felt like I was looking at it through a new set of eyes. And I wasn't even necessarily tired. I was just confused because everything looked different. I started Hmm. to see little, like, shadows flickering at the edge of my vision. That were just shadows and nothing more. But it felt like they were moving. And then I was like, huh, this isn't good. I need an energy drink. (laughs) As all Walmart employees do. Um, That's a... I wanted to talk about... uh, one of the things I've seen recently about Walmart checkouts because a lot of people are getting upset about Walmart checkouts because there there's some some things about cashiers having to or being a lot more diligent about about shoplifting here's the truth cashiers aren't going to do shit cashiers are told yeah. don't interfere with shoplifting don't just don't even like look at them don't do anything because we're not legally allowed to do anything if we stop somebody we could be a huge risk to the company so what happens is they company. just let you <laughs> is that how i said it yeah it was just you should put a lot of emphasis on that why oh <laughs> company um so what they'll do is they'll just let you go they're not gonna stop you they're just gonna record who you are, and they're gonna they're gonna be like, "Yep, he did that." And they're even gonna like they're gonna record you all the way to your car, like they're gonna they're gonna look at those Walmart parking lot cameras and they're gonna look at your license plate, and they're mm. gonna keep tabs on you, like they're gonna they're gonna make sure that how much you've stolen, and then they're just gonna take you to court. They're just gonna arrest you, like. That's just, that's about it. So a lot of people are, are kind of upset that you can't shoplift at self checkouts. Do I care for sh- to, eh. do I care for self checkouts? Not really. Only because I get in and out really quickly, and they can have like twenty of these registers open as opposed to before when they only had like six kids working a register. So yeah. more people get out quicker. And I don't care to scan my stuff. I usually... Sometimes when I buy big grocery loads... It'll take me a while to scan things. But it's never anything tedious. <laughs> uh, no, that's really all I had to say. We can, move in, we can move on to our actual topics here. The ones that we had set to be funny. Instead of real stuff. Such as? Uh, mm-hmm. I'm looking... Say because segue. Oh uh, well, you can't so you can't segue into a Warhammer 40k Primark fashion show. Um, 
but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, Walmart, Walmart sells clothes. Uh, Robot Gilliman wears clothes. Bam. Flawless. Anyway, uh, I wanted to. It, this is gonna sort of segue into my book corner a little bit. I absolutely love Primarchs in books, simply because the first thing you always hear about a Primark when they mention them is what they're wearing. And so I like to imagine them in like an early 2000s photo booth. You know, those little like mall mall things you get into and they take like yeah. three bunch of pictures and print them out. I like to imagine mm. that, but it's with like Roboot Gilliman or it's with Rogel Dorn. Because it's always like the majestic Rogel Dorn clad in his golden eagle uniform and his armor plate. And it goes into heavy detail about his armor. I am always imagine him doing, like, like poses and stuff, and it's always kind of funny. Uh. Just <clears throat> going down a fashion show. Yeah, like de- walking down the... the walking runway. The aisle. Yeah, the runway. runway yeah. Walking down the runway in their, their custom-tailored Primark armor. Always kind of funny. Striking poses and everything. <laughs> yeah, and I like to imagine myself in a judge seat holding up the 10 because anything lower would get me shot with a bolter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm so wound up this episode. I'm going to go get it. There he goes, drinking. He's there ruining he this family. Oh my god, how dare he? Oh. <laughs> I'm not even getting a drink, drink. I'm just getting a water. I'll be right back. He'll never kick this habit. He's in denial. He's in denial. Water? That's just code for alcohol. Yeah, he says water. It's just coming. He's just coming back with a glass of vodka. Oh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we can help him. Mm. Got to get him to alcoholism therapy. Alcoholics the Anonymous. Meetings. Yeah. His brother would be so disappointed. My H2O. Oh, man, I love my water. Mm, Water, tasty Ah. water. Delicious water. Anyway, uh, how'd you. What did you. Did y'all get into some deep philanthropy? What? Yeah. I was gonna say, right, that's, sweet. that's not the right. Um. Okay. It was just a. a what, what was I what, supposed to? I mean, philanthropy to? is. That's not what philanthropy is. I was gonna. Well, it was. It was just a joke. It had nothing to do with what you guys actually talked about. I don't know what y'all talked about. I assume you meant about philosophy. Water. Sp- I said what I said. I mean, we talked earlier about how we don't really have money, and I don't know how we could perform philanthropy with no money. <laughs> nah. Not even gonna lie, I don't know what. Ph- Let me look up what philanthropy is. Allow me. The desire to promote the welfare of others. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Philosophy. Uh. Okay, I got a great... I got an actual good topic. Um, <laughs> I got an actual good topic. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this this podcast reference photo is just silly. I don't even know... What is that? Apparently. Who is Jordan that? Jordan Peterson. Oh. <laughs> Jordan <laughs> Peterson is the emperor. <laughs> Uh. Um, okay, uh, GDQ. Wait, wait, wait. I got wait, an wait, actual, wait. actual can't thing move about on GDQ. Yet. Why is Fulgrim Why? painted yellow? They turned him into a fucking <laughs> high elf from Elder Scrolls. <laughs> is there anything else be like secreted that. away in here somewhere? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to put that on the screen at some point. Uh, sorry, I'm 
uh, thinking about it now. GDQ, games Speed done running. quick. Do any do any of you guys invest any any time no. into that? I actually do have a speed run record. Oh. Oh, and what? Um, hang on, I have to look it up. <laughs> Did you do like a, a GDQ no, event? But I do have uh, on Quake One E two M one. Um, I think I'm like 18th place. Oh, that ain't bad. Where is it? Well, uh, GDQ founder Mike Uyama is stepping down. Oh, really? And uh, who could have who could have guessed? Um, GDQ is way way different than I remember it being, mm. right? Because when when I used to watch it several years ago, I used to really enjoy the events. I used to always want to participate and like donate and things like that. I never did because I was a kid, but I used to get really into the event. I used to love the the couches and the the people behind and how like riled up everybody would get over certain things. But now you watch a GDQ event. And they don't do those mm. anymore. They don't do the live stuff anymore. And it's always some announcer at the beginning who I just recently noticed they changed to a, uh, what are those? Yeah, a VTuber look. And it's just, it's gone so downhill. And I don't understand why. I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't actually watched a proper GDQ like thing in like a couple years now. Like, I'd watch one of those big ones, I, like the Borderlands 2 co-op runs. I'd rewatch that a couple times. But as of late... But no. I used to watch them... Go on. I used to watch them intently. But now I just put them on to go to sleep to. Because they're so boring. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, Easy Speezy exists. And then I put him on, and I'm up for hours. Dude, I fucking love that guy. Easy Speezy. He'll probably never hear this, but he is so awesome. He's so oh, wholesome. Oh, so wholesome 100. And he... Wholesome 100. Oh no, God. dude, he is honestly... Like, if there is a character, I would say 100% on YouTube is just so sweet and wholesome. It's got to be that guy. Easy speezy. Because he, he does these, like, silly web games or just games in general. And he speed runs the he speed runs them of course, but he doesn't go for the number one spot. He just wants to mm. speed run them. And he did this twenty four hour charity stream recently. And uh, dude, he's just so like he's so cute. I don't know how else to put it. Um, cause his I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. If I wish I can get him on this podcast, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna reach out to him. Um, but I really like the speedrunning community. I just hate GDQ in mm. general, just because of how how political they've gotten. Oh yeah. Because they start off every every video with like three different like uh, three different political messages, and then throughout the entire thing they they talk about it too. And I'm like, I'm here just to watch somebody speedrun a game. And you don't even do the events anymore. So there's no reason that I should continue to watch these if there's no event. I'll just watch the guy do them himself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I don't speedrun myself, but I also... I just like watching people speedrun. That's a, that's a big part. I don't play a lot of games. I like watching people play, but I also don't have hardcore opinions on new video games coming out because I'm not going to play them anyway that might be a problem of mine but it's uh I don't have a lot of time right mm. now for video games I might pick something up with so I, I like party games I like games I could play short quick and fun oh yeah those are you know always what I mean? fun like like stick fight we played stick fight once and I've thought about it for like mm. a whole week 
That's another game that um, wanting to pick it up that just math again. wants to play. A problem is that every time you guys bring up this game, it's like, oh yeah, we have it, or let's get it, and I'm just like, I can't, I, I don't have it, I can't get it. <laughs> well, you never, you've never even said you would play it if we gifted it to you. I wasn't gonna imply or ask for you to get it for me. It's ten dollars. And I could buy it for you if you want. Just ask. <laughs> I don't want it. No. Do you want it? Now I don't. No. You don't want it? No. You say Why? it's ten bucks. It's like six bucks. So that's like what? Well, maybe like three, four. But no series is for you guys. I it, the the thing is, if I buy you a game, it's because I want you to play it with me. I I I, I never understood that. The reason you, is okay. I know there's that a recently same sorry, thing happened. Go on. Somebody had gotten me a game. We played it one time, and then just due to scheduling and all that, have never had the time, or neither of us have had the desire to play it again. I guess. But the thing is, is that we're always here at this time. It makes for a great warm-up session. It'd make for great uh, Patreon content. We have a Patreon yes, open. We do now. have a Patreon open, but I'm not going to say it till the end because that's when people, people most will. will I mean, you just you just mentioned it. it. Well, I mean, I'm not going to like go uh, further. We mention it right. again. But we do we do have a Patreon, uh, and I'm I'm it's verified so we can start getting people. We just got to create content for it so that people believe it's worth paying mm. for. But on the good side is I, I took a couple days off of work, so I'll have um, I'll have more time to put into the podcast. I'm going to do stuff. Even if even if it's by myself on the YouTube channel, I'm going to mm. do stuff. I really want to do uh, that uh, if you laugh, you drink challenge with you mm. guys. Because I mentioned it once, and I, I, I've looked forward to it for a long time. You could have stockpiled some alcohol. Yeah, I, I have a stockpile of alcohol right now. Um, my brother came over, and we tried a bunch of stuff. And I learned that uh, Michelob Ultras are pretty good. Uh, I also like this local stuff. Love Honey Buck. Which, uh, I lied. I'm drinking Told alcohol. You. Uh-huh. Knew it. Heard a bit of fizz in there. Uh, <laughs> it's so good, though. I used to not be a beer person. And then I tried uh, some some stuff. And I eventually pushed past through it and went, this stuff's pretty good. So I like beer now. I'm only a social bear person. I don't drink beer in my own time. I drink beer with a lot of meals. Like, um, I'll have a steak and I'll pull out a beer or uh, stuff like that. Um, but revol- revolving all this, eh, bringing, bringing us all the way back to the GDQ. Uh, don't like it as much. I like other people more. Yeah. I have already gone into like GDQ as of late. Like the last one I watched was like maybe like the 2018, 2019 one. I have, was it. I've never yeah, really been one to watching other people play games. I've like obviously that's majority of content out there, so I'd rather I'd listen to them because commentary or just whatever they're talking about might be interesting. But usually I'm playing a game at the same time. Hmm. Fair enough. Um. What 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 else was I gonna put in here? I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of Aww. silence. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, is it there? Is it there's enough sound? Uh, Fill the silence. <laughs> I can do my car rant right now if you guys want. That might take up the rest of the episode, but um, okay. I know where to start. I, when I'm driving. 
What does Ford stand for? <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Jacob. What? what is what does Ford stand for? Um, uh, huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, hey, hey, yeah. uh, David. What is fuck what off, is retard? Ford stand die. For? <laughs> 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 Did I rub enough stank on uh, that for you? No, for. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. You said um, that so viscerally. When I'm on the road and I see a Ford F 150, <laughs> cool. Put I'm it, glad. Okay. You're okay. Whatever your rant is about to be, I really, really. I, I just. The thought came to my mind. I want it to be written down into text and then put into a Sam Elliott AI <laughs> so he can read the worst Ford commercial <laughs> uh, I uh, there's a, I don't know around here uh, if you drive a Toyota Camry I'm going to kill you you are the worst fucking driver on ev- on the planet Get off the fucking road, drive off a cliff, do something other than drive. If you can drive. Toyota Camrys are so fucking trashy here. Now, I don't I don't have a lot to talk about. I'm not gonna say what car Toyota I drive. Camry. But it's also not like <laughs> not, <laughs> But it's not something that uh It's not like uh a well-known Chevy and Paul good Paul. driver car. It's usually known for no. <laughs> it's known for bad drivers as well. But I'm a I'm a I'm a oh, good driver. A of course, everybody would say that. Uh, no. Uh, if you drive a Tesla, you're cool, but you're also kind of lame. If you drive a Charger, I already know that your exhaust doesn't exist. Just go ahead and air rate me uh, while you turn on your car. If you drive a Nissan Titan Nissan? or Nissan Frontier, uh, you're pretty cool. I envy you, but good luck with that transmission, Bill, when it comes, because it's coming. Uh, if you drive a Honda Civic, you're pretty much a jack of all trades. You could be the shittiest driver, or you could just, or you could be a normal person. But normal person is very hard to describe in the car world. So I'm just going to describe it as somebody who doesn't fucking turn right from the left lane to cut me off. That's happened to me three times since I moved up here. Is someone will be in the left lane. I'm in the right lane. And they'll turn right onto like like in the intersection. While they're in the left lane. Which, if you got to see that visually, it's a nightmare. Because it's, it's like... It's just stupid. Mm. There's no reason for it. You've just simply disregarded all traffic laws just to be a dumbass. Mm. I don't get it. So they're cunts. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If you're a biker on the road, um, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> no, because you're you deserve or a it. Cyclist. If you <clears throat> both cyclists, we don't have a. I mean, I didn't even <laughs> both. If you're one of those motorcyclists that like to weave through traffic and think you're above uh, the lane, then you deserve to get fucking hit. But no, I I, I live in an area where people don't know how to drive, so it's it's always shitty. The like cyclist that. that specifically is riding their bicycle inside the car lane when there's very obviously a bike lane right next to them. Yeah. Yeah, and we have bike lanes here, and they don't by and you use really them. wish you you were in the passenger seat just so you could pop the door on him as he pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just so fucking awful. I hate those people. Go away. I, I don't know. Most of my driving though is done at night, so there's not a whole lot of people there. If you drive a if you eh, if you drive a jeep, just admit you know nothing about cars. Please. 
don't try to pretend like like you being under your jeep to give it its third oil change this month because you don't know what it'll, you don't know why your jeep is making that stupid fucking noise even though you've hit 37 curbs in the past <laughs> two weeks just admit you don't know anything about driving or cars and you just like how it looked just do it well as people have probably heard That's in really the other about. fucking episodes my street that I live on has a bunch of car guys and they love to be loud extremely loud it's all the time I hate it I don't understand why people love being so loud. Do they just go, yeah, I'm fucking can't hear shit. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, I, I love being awesome. Vroom, vroom, it goes loud. I'm so cool. I was just going to say, you guys ever seen that South Park episode about the Harley riders? No. They just no. drive through town being super loud. You know, we, we, oh, we, uh, we have bikes, blues, and barbecues here. I think it's the second largest motorcycle gathering in the country. And they're still not as loud as your typical fucking Ram 2500 owner. Did I say that right? Is that a, is that a car? Or a truck? Because if I'm not, I'm going to get fucking flamed. Probably. Yeah, Ram 2500. Yep, correct. Those guys just cut the exhaust off and add fucking air horns to their exhaust. So when they... When they drive it just screams nah I mean that's, that's really about it everybody has these sort of mini rants in their head whenever they're mm. driving but uh, that's that's pretty much the extent of mine uh, speaking of uh, speaking of these car guys and fucking their cars do you guys have any Valentine's Day plans? fucking my car? no <laughs> 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 uh, no, I don't. Uh, I'm buying a plane ticket to New Zealand. Uh, I think we all know what needs to happen oh, to math. Yes. <laughs> Smug little Kiwi needs correction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing oh, no. Dan. <laughs> Dan's gonna get his Valentine's Day wish one way or another. It's going to happen. <laughs> just airdropping <laughs> airdropping Dan onto New Zealand like Freddy Fazbear into Vietnam. no, the good uh, good segue there. <laughs> oh, fucking, would you look at that? I'm getting a phone yeah, call. On. Oh, I will be back. Oh, okay. Oh, that's very Try nice. That. A very interesting story there. Yes. Yes, of course. Very interesting. Um, what else is I gonna say? Oh, uh, well, never mind. I don't. I don't even remember why I typed that one in. Uh. Uh. uh we'll just keep saying ah oh, until he's back. We could talk about. We could we could talk about the recent developments in deep fake porn. Yeah. Um and how that's been affecting a good portion of the Twitch community yes. female streamers. Um so you heard about that drama with that one other streamer getting like called well not called out, but he got like exposed for like watching a deep fake of another Twitch streamer. Yeah, and his apology was super fucking You know gross. what's funny? I met him. He actually what? came to, like, Wellington, and I actually met him, like, like a month or two prior to that happening. Did you ever think you'd be, you'd be watching, you'd be, you'd be interacting with a man who jerks off to <laughs> AI porn? It never passed my mind. Do we ever do that? Do we ever walk by and go, he w man, this guy could be a serial killer. No, I go, man, this guy could be jerking off to AI, AI porn. AI porn, yeah. <laughs> AI has been getting uh, seriously scary as of late. Yeah, that's true. Like, there's this one, like, it's like this good. voice synthesizer that's, like, damn near perfect. I, uh, that, uh, what's that guy, what's the Morrowind character's name? The one that we all keep pulling out sometimes. What I miss? Uh. Somebody, somebody, your. AI porn. 
Oh, deep we were fake? talking about AI porn. Yeah. Which is a yeah. fantastic subject because the phone call I got was from my mom, and she may become oh. a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> So if you do watch this well, and you were wondering when you interrupted me, here it is. <laughs> uh what was the what was the uh AI voice that we the, the Marwin Dag- three antagonist? Dagother. <clears throat> yeah, Dagother. Um the the speech synthesizing AI is getting really yes. good. People are pointing out that it actively can <laughs> keep track of like pauses pauses and like breaths in and all that yeah because usually before ai voices would there was no time space between words as soon as a word was finished it would be saying the next so it always sounded yeah it, that's it pretty didn't scary. get the flow right but now it's like somebody put the dig author ai into just his normal text dialogue and made it fully voiced using that and it sounds as if they just scripted it it is well how much audio is there for Dagoth Ur for them to do that um if you've heard all of his quotes not enough but so how do they supplement it that's a part of its programming It's not like hmm. old YouTube poops where they just cut up words. Like it actively knows how to make a certain sound, and then it just replicates it. I saw one of the uh, the Oblivion Guard. Oh that man, was really that... funny. that's cool. But also, mm-hmm. I'm like, <laughs> what? I don't want that to be done to 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 him. Wes Johnson's cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's put it this way. <laughs> oh, I didn't West think Johnson you'd... made up, like, I would say at least, at the very minimum, 50% of the voices in Oblivion. Oh, yeah. And he did so well voicing Shea Gorath that. Bethesda, Zenimax, they all just agreed he's the only person that can ever play him. Yeah. So, even to this day, in all of the appearances he made throughout Elder Scrolls Online, he, Wes Johnson is still Shea Gorath. That being said, an AI generator for Shea Gorath would be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. The, we were talking about deepfake porn and how that streamer, uh, there was a streamer who got caught uh, on a paid service to watch the other thing. Oh yeah, he had. A, and it was like he had, he paid for like deepfakes of like Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemane. Well, it, <clears throat> everyone calls her Pokemane. <laughs> her her name's actually Pokemon because that's just her name is Iman. Yeah. So everyone, it's email, yeah. So it's just kind of this thing is like originally her name was meant to be a her screen name was meant to be a pun, but everyone just calls her Pokemon. Yeah. I call her Pokemon so people know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because if you say you pay for Pokemon deep fakes, you might be in some <laughs> hot shit. Well, yeah, because it's animated. So also, why would you be paying for deep fakes of a cartoon? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand that either. But does she have deep fakes? I mean, her face has been shown online. Yes, she streams. Good God! Where can the disgusting people stay away from? Because like a deep fake, all you need is a uh, picture of the person's face. But yeah, I, I, I know. I was just I was trying to allude to a joke. Didn't didn't work very well though. You fail at comedy. No, you did the joke of where to find it. Yes, I just moved on. (laughs) Okay. Um, 
Uh, I wonder what my deep fakes would look like. Oh, that. Uh, you know, the, the deep fake that I I would have commissioned of you is I just put your face on King Ass River. Like not even anything <laughs> sexual, just like the f his famous video putting sausage gravy on pizza. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. I fucking... I don't know. What do I sound like? Like, what do I look like? Just by my voice. Oh, I do mean, you if your brother's like, face is anything know. to go off of. <laughs> you know, it kind of is, but yeah. I do my hair differently, and my glasses oh, are bigger. And I, no offense to Max, but yeah, I know he's got a yee yee ass haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the monk drip. Nah, but uh, I've been meaning to get a haircut, but Super Bowl Sunday is here, and everybody apparently needs a fade. That's fucking awful. What I do plan on doing for my hair is just go complete buzz cut, just shave it all off. I want to try it again. I did that over the summer. Hmm. David, when's oh. your face reveal coming out? Take a picture right now. No. No. How dare you? Because uh, I am unkempt. My hair is a mess. I'm unshaven. I am taking full advantage of the fact that I am sitting at a computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, go go clean yourself up and then take a picture. We don't have another. Well, actually, well, okay. So we don't have enough time in this episode for me to come back and add that. No, but you can do it off camera. Uh, I still not camera. It, <laughs> There's gonna be a point in time where someone can make a picture out of someone's voice. I doubt it. Wait, not this our life. Sounds like this. Least. What does he look like? Yeah, you never know. That'd be pretty cool. I think. We have ten more minutes. God, why can't math be here? Can't we just talk about wrestling? You had John Cena uh, is doing a movie. Bin Chiling. Bin Chiling. Zhao Shang Hong Zhang Guo Shen Zai Wai O Bin Chiling. Wo Ha Shi Wan Bin Chiling. De Shi Su De Zhu Jing Zhu Be Bin Chiling. Why do you do that so well? I memorize that shit. I repeat it all the time. Uh, oh, I in one of my classes, uh, I'm in a food science class, um, there was a group of people that came in and asked us to to join the, the Poultry Federation. And I thought that sounded so funny. Poultry Federation. <laughs> it sounds like a militia of, 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 of chicken. Guerrilla warfare. And then me and my brother, <laughs> me and my brother sat around and went, uh, I'm gonna be a part of the Crustacean Coalition, <laughs> or <laughs> the Pork <laughs> Pact, the, bo the Bovine Brotherhood, <laughs> the the the, the Red Meat Al Republic, uh, the Avian Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> just like we're picking factions here, <laughs> but the Poultry Federation was so funny. The bovine brother. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, 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 why are you doing this? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking for shit to talk about, but there's oh, not a whole no, lot to you talk mean this about. This episode's going to be a few minutes shy of an hour? No, because I got to cut out a lot of what shit on this episode. About? <laughs> would have cut out a lot of the boring stuff that happened. What? All the minutes of silence. There, there. Okay, there was probably a collective like one minute of actual silence, and that's collective. Uh, let's not, see what my well, not consistent. Oh, we could talk about Hogwarts Legacy and all the memes. Uh, Ooh, Hogwarts that. Legacy. That just came out, and people are already hopping on the the J.K. Rowling. Oh, hate. people have been doing that before. The fucking game even came out. They did like that people saying, after you're it was bad, announced. You're, hmm, you're a bad person if you play this game. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had built the Kanye <laughs> wizard. Like how the 
like before the game even released, just during like beta play, there was a streamer that was playing the beta and was bullied by her chat into stopping her stream. Yeah, there was a ton of that. Because they legitimately made a website being like, whoever streamed this game, you can check out who did it and people are going to be using it for yeah. um, bullying or targeted harassment, but they actually took it down. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Just let people play games, they, you know? But the no thing mouse. is... I, it's funny as I came across a TikTok of a guy that broke it down super hard. And I wish that I remembered his name. I could give credit to it. Because, I mean, he he did the thing where he's, like, talking to himself, right? So he's playing two characters. Oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. he just tears mm -hmm. apart their whole, like, anti-Hogwarts um, argument. Pointing I'm out pretty how, like, sure I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, it's like, if you really wanted to protest J.K. Rowling and her ideals... There is pretty much every other avenue of her actual, like, monetary gain to boycott mm. and protest, rather than just this game. And he brought it just up as, like, game. but the real reason is, because the game's easy. It's mm. easy to try and get mad at this game and make it seem bad. Yeah, you can just you don't want to actually get up and phone. go do the real protest. When I when I watched a little gameplay of it, it didn't look very fun for me. It looked very boring. Everything looked kind of slow. They didn't let you sort of do what you wanted to do. But at the same time, if that's what people want, then don't hate don't hate some shit that's behind it. Take the game for its face value. Cuz I mean, hell, Chick-fil-A is still one of the top leading fast food See, chains. Okay. In America, you, and it uh, people bring, hated its anti, bring up Chick -fil -A, anti, and I and I things. think it's funny is <laughs> it's like Chick Fil A is like the opposite end of that one dude's tweet. So it's like Chick Fil A is it's way too popular for every gay person to not eat there, <laughs> and it's just like the one guy said, gay porn has way too many views. Some of y'all are lying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like it's it's people only want to get upset when it's convenient for them. They're not gonna play the game mm. anyway. They never want they never wanted to. They just went, man. It is gonna be so easy to shit on this game when they still went and bought Chick Fil A, or they still went and bought it Barnes and Nobles, or they still went and did something that supports either a Christian organization or somebody who had mentioned one or twice once or twice that they didn't like a certain mm. ideology and you know what not buying their stuff is good but you gotta judge the person not the content that was created using their ip because the ip itself wasn't anti anything it was just kids yeah. doing wizard yeah. shit <laughs> shadow money wizard gang we like castles <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that sound. Yeah, I'm gonna be on it. To stay to stay focused, yeah, it it there there are a lot of examples of separate the art from the artist. Cause if the if the product, the art, the literature that they made ha has nothing to do with the ideas or opinions that they voice then who cares? Dog, Hitler could have made Smash Bros and yeah. you'd still be on that shit. <laughs> yeah. But don't don't be hypocritical is all I'm saying. Is don't don't hate something cuz it's convenient for you to hate it. Hate something because you truly believe that it's an evil thing and then go for the actual mm. source of what that evil is. Don't like what was it? Scott Cawthon's? No, no, it was um not no, right? Minecraft guy. People 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 attack Notch for something when he had very little to do with something. What was it? Fuck. I gotta brain blast this out of my memory. Brain. Ah, forget it. The the real message is just what I had said, but I think we can wrap up there. The message was buy buy wizard game if you want to, it doesn't make you a bad person. Yeah. Don't let people bully out, bully yeah. you out of your hobbies. 
Shadow Money Have Wizard fun. Gang. Bye bye. We like casting spells. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been the hour mark. Uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you for watching episode 12. Yay.